Hey guys, uh, in this video, I, I just want to build up my own confidence a little bit because my confidence is a little bit shaken and I want to show you some executions and, and I, you know, maybe it's something about just recording my sessions that, that puts me in a funk. Um, so I was taking some break-even trades um, and then I was, yeah, I was just scratching, and then look, there it was right there, shorted right there, cover two, cover two right there, so we came down, oh, right there, and I took the last one as we came to and threw sell side liquidity, um, so I have it in me, um, and I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is um, exactly when I'm not doing well. I mean, I know what I'm doing wrong. So number one, I know that I have to be flat during 0830 and the New York Open Stock Ex New York Stock Exchange Open, which is 0930, right? That's, that's kind of a basic thing. I know that trying to enter in on limit orders and trying to be the bottom and top tick, I know that's wrong. I know that's not going to do it for me either um, I think that I'm also not you know not finding a good balance between trying to stay on one side of the marketplace for too long or too short like you don't want to reverse too quickly but you don't want to stick with the same side for too long either if the market's you know showing you that it's respecting the other side so I think video recording my sessions is um, not something that I can do because it's messing with me. Because what you're seeing here is a lot of like scratches until I finally got it. And frankly, mathematically, there's nothing really wrong with that. But if y'all were looking at this, I would feel like some sort of performance anxiety or, you know, like I have to perform and get it right the first time when I'm just telling y'all that sometimes my best trades have been, you know, after scratching like five times. And these were like small wins. They weren't really scratches, but uh, I, I have it in me. I have it in me to trade well. Uh, I, I just end up blowing accounts, top step accounts, guys, uh, just blowing accounts on like really stupid, dumb crap. Um, impatience, you know, 0830, holding holding a position through the open, holding a position through an economic release, those are just like really obvious and stupid. Um, reversing a position too quickly, not not pausing in between trades, like that's another obvious thing. Reversing too quickly. Um, only seeing one side of the marketplace, not using, not, not referencing the higher time frames, that's another thing that I know that I have to do. And then Another basic thing is that I, I have been worrying too much about the wicks, guys, and you gotta you have to read price through the candle bodies. You have to look where prices are closing, not where they're um not where not not where they're wicking. You have to look where they're closing. So it's not my most popular series. Uh, and it's not going to get as many views as as live session recordings. But I do want to finish out. ICT's Twitter um, executions, so I will be doing that um, at some point. Uh, I'll finish out his remaining, I don't have that many to go, his remaining Twitter video executions and talking about those. Um, I have it in me. I mean, you know, pulling out pulling out good trades, like, I have it in me. It, it, I, I have been studying, and I have it. It's, uh, you know, it's it's a matter of um, getting there to the performance that I need to be. I don't think I can video record my sessions and put them out to the public. Um, I don't even know if I can video record it and put it out to myself because I'm going to see a lot of things that I know I don't want to see. Maybe. Maybe I can video record it for myself, but... Yeah, I think it's messing with me. I think it is messing with me. Uh, and I, I, I... So some basic things that I'm doing wrong. Number one, cannot hold a position through 0830 or 0930. 
That's uh, News and Burger Lift and New York Stock Exchange Open. You must read the candle bodies, not the candle wicks. That's where you do th- – those tell the stories. So don't worry so much about the wicks. And on the NASDAQ, they're huge. I get that. But nevertheless, you, you have to look at where price is closing on a closing basis. So the bodies, the bodies of the candles, that's where you have to look. Um and then, yeah, not, not reversing too quickly and allowing time to pass. When you're out of a position, allow some time to pass before you re-enter into a new position so you don't get caught in a bad position. That's my current thinking, guys. Um, I do want to finish the ICT Trades Analyze series. I want to get through the rest of his Twitter executions. Um, but I cannot video record my session. It's messing with me. Bye.